Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to get in contact with me and you want more help with your training business, then please visit the description below this video. Right? There's a number of ways you can get in contact with me. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call on Zoom, or if you have any questions specific to your business, then you can send them to me via either my WhatsApp number or via my email address, which is all found in the description below this video. Okay, so today, if you have a look at the screen in front of you, okay, I'm going to be talking about one-on-one -on -one training versus small group training. Now, something I do every single day is I speak with coaches, right? I speak with coaches in multiple sports and some coaches which are, are at the more starting phases of their business a lot of them ask me, Leo, what should I specialize in? Should I specialize my business in one-on-one -on -one training or should I move into small groups? Now, there's not really a specific way to start your business, okay? Everyone starts at a different, different stage. I personally started my business doing one-on-one -on -one training and I feel that that's a very common thing among coaches right a lot of coaches start when they start their business they start off doing one-on-one -on -one training and then they expand into groups it's something that just happens naturally but in my case it happened because I was doing too many one-on-one -on -one sessions and I had to sit down and really study my business and look at it and and, and say to myself right if I want to grow and scale I can't continue doing one-on-one -on -one training because every new client or every new parent that wanted one-on-one -on -one, uh, training with me was adding an extra hour of training per week to my schedule. Okay? So the only way to grow and scale in my situation at the time, doing one-on-one -on -one training was adding more time during the week. And you know, there's, there's only a certain amount of hours and days during the week where you can train. Okay, So the way I had to transition is I transitioned into small groups at the beginning. And then from small groups, I went into open and bigger groups. Okay, So now the way I run my business is train. we do all our training on one day, which is the Saturday morning. And we run three different groups back to back. But at the beginning, I was doing anywhere between 25 to 30 one-on-one uh, -on -one training sessions per week but I realized right uh, yes I'm I'm getting a lot of inquiries from parents a lot of parents are reaching out to me they're interested in in training with me which is fantastic but it was getting very difficult to grow and scale so I had to transition into small groups to begin with because a lot of the clients that I was working with they didn't want to go into groups so some of them left which left me with small groups to begin with. And then those small groups gradually with time started to grow and they became more open, open groups to the point where I was working with, well, our current groups now, we have anywhere between 15 to 20 players per, per group. So if you have a look at the screen in front, now what, I'm, what I've decided to do in this video is I've decided to sit down and give you a breakdown of the benefits of both, right? So the benefits of one-on-one -on -one training and the benefits of doing small group training. So hopefully this video, once you've watched it, you've consumed it, will give you a better understanding into which niche to focus in. Now, when I talk about niche, it's important that you understand that in order to grow and scale a business, you have to be niche specific. And this is something we teach our coaches in our Sports Accelerator program, how to become more niche specific. So being more niche specific means that you're focusing on not only just a certain type of player, but you're focusing on a certain type of training. So when parents think of one-on-one -on -one training, they think of your company. If parents think of small group training, they think of your company. Right, so you've got to be niche specific. And if you're niche specific and you, you're attracting a certain type of clientele, 
your business will be able to grow, but also you're going to be able to demand higher uh, fees as a result of being niche specific. Okay, so want to go into this a little bit of a little bit more detail, okay? Because this is something I get asked on a on a regular basis: one on one training versus small group. So, if you have any questions for me, take advantage of the free call or the ways to contact me. This is what I do every single day now. I work with coaches predominantly in the US, okay? But we do get messages from coaches all around the world, from the UK, Australia. But if you are a coach watching or you've been watching our channel for a while, but you haven't reached out, do that, okay? I'd love to jump on a call with you and help you with your, your business, all right? So if you have a look at the screen in front, benefits of one-on-one -on -one training, right? My first point is I put player develops faster. So obviously when, when you work with players in a one-on-one -on -one setting, okay, that player is getting all that attention, which means your coaching is being more effective, but not just that, you're able to work on specific things that that player needs help with. Okay. This is a little bit different when you're working in groups because when you're working in groups, you've got so many different players to, to help. But when you're working with one player at, at, at a time, then players are able to develop faster because you're focusing on what their needs and wants are. Second one, again, more personal attention. It goes back similar to the first point. But the first point is more in terms of your, your, your drills, your sessions, they're more specific to the player. The second one is more personal attention, right? Because in a training session, in a one-on-one -on -one setting, okay, that player is getting all your attention. So you're able to focus solely on what that player is doing well, what that player needs work on, and how we can get that player to the next level. Okay. The third point is stronger client relationships. As a result of working one-on-one -on -one with, with your client, okay, you start to build a really close relationship with them, which is really positive. Okay. And it's a lot easier to build these relationships than in groups because that player is coming to you specifically and you're giving them all, your, all their attention. And then with time, you know, you might decide to go and watch some of their, their games on the weekend. You might decide to do some Zoom uh, calls with them, right? So the experience becomes very personal. And that is one of the reasons why I do like one-on-one -on -one training. Okay? The it's, it's a lot more personal. It's a lot more focused on the player, on the individual. And you can get results a lot quicker. And the, your training is a lot more effective than in a group setting. Right now, moving on, right? The benefits of small group training. Okay, small group training, when I think of small group training, I think of anywhere between four to six players. Some coaches see small group training as maybe two to three, right? But I think of it more as four to six. So it, it still becomes this personal type of experience, but you know, four to six players is a lot different than one player, okay? So the first point I make is very training sessions, which means this is um, very training sessions means because you're working with so many different types of players, right? You know, you might have a curriculum in place for the next three, six, or, or nine weeks, and based on that curriculum, you might change your training sessions week by week because of the, the needs of your players. Whereas in a in a one-on-one -on -one setting, you might repeat the session week, week on week because it's something that they need specific help with. Okay. And you and with one-on-one -on -one training, it's like, right, let's focus and narrow down on this specific thing, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Whereas Small group training, because you're working with varied amount of players and sometimes players of different abilities, you know, your sessions might be varied. So one week you might be focusing on passing, not another week you might be focusing on dribbling. So you're touching on all, all the basic foundations that your the players need, but 
So the sessions are varied and they're not just focused on one individual, but they're focused on the group, right? The second one is more interaction amongst your clients and players. So very different to one-on-one -on -one training where it's just the player and the coach. Small group training is there's more interaction because there's more players in that group. So more, there's more camaraderie. There's more, you can say it's a little bit more fun because it, you know, they you can challenge, they challenge each other during the session. Um, so there's a lot more interaction and that's fantastic in terms of building relationships amongst players and getting results quicker. Okay. Now the third one is game specific drills. Now this one is very different to one-on-one -on -one training because game specific drills is something that when you're working with four to six players, right, you can do certain drills which are more game specific. So for example, playing out from the back, right? If you've got six players in your group, you can put one player as a goalkeeper and you can do a functional uh, type of drill where they're playing out from the back in a type of game specific environment. So small group training allows that flexibility, allows you to, to do that type of those drills where you're working with players in smaller groups, but you can do mo moments in game situations that are specific to how you know the their team or those players may play on the weekend. OK, so if you need more help with this, OK, reach out to me. Like I said, I work with coaches every single day. I help coaches and uh, we've got coaches in our Sports Accelerator program. So if that's something you want to in, uh, inquire about or learn more about, right, reach out to me. number of ways you can do that. OK, so if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. And again, visit the description below if you want to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, where we can jump on Zoom, can ask you a couple of questions, see where you are at with your business and see where you want to get to. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.